Section 16 of Welsh Fairy Tales and Other Stories. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ginger Cucolo. Welsh Fairy Tales and Other Stories by P. H. Emerson. Chapter 16. The Long-Lived Ancestors. The eagle of Gwarnabui had been long married to his female, and had by her many children. She died, and he continued a long time a widower. But at length he proposed a marriage with the owl of Kumkauluid, but afraid of her being young, so as to have children by her, and thereby degrade his own family, he first of all went to inquire about her age amongst the aged of the world. Accordingly he applied to the stag of Redinfruin, whom he found lying close to the trunk of an old oak, and requested to know the owl's age. I have seen, said the stag, this oak an acorn, which has now fallen to the ground through age, without either bark or leaves, and never suffered any hurt or strain except for my rubbing myself against it once a day, after getting up on my legs, but I never remember to have seen the owl you mention, younger or older, than she seems to be at this day but there is one older than I am, and that is the salmon of Le Intel Ephron. The eagle then applied to the salmon for the age of the owl. The salmon answered, I am as many years old as there are scales upon my skin, and particles of spawn within my belly. Yet never saw I the owl you mention, but the same in appearance. But there is one older than I am, and that is the black bird of Kilgari. The eagle next repaired to the blackbird of Kilgari, whom he found perched upon a small stone, and inquired of him the owl's age. "'Dost thou see this stone upon which I sit?' said the blackbird, which is now no bigger than what a man can carry in his hand. I have seen this very stone of such weight as to be a sufficient load for a hundred oxen to draw, which has suffered neither rubbing nor wearing save that I rub my bill on it once every evening, and touch the tips of my wings on it every morning, when I expand them to fly. Yet I have not seen the owl either older or younger than she appears to be at this day. But there is one older than I am, and that is the frog of Machno Bog, and if he does not know her age, there is not a creature living that does know it. The eagle went last of all to the frog, and desired to know the owl's age. He answered, I never ate anything but the dust from the spot which I inhabit, and that very sparingly. And dost thou see these great hills that surround and over all this bog where I lie? They are formed only of the excrements from my body since I have inhabited this place. Yet I never remember to have seen the owl, but an old hag, making the hideous noise, doo hoo hoo always frightening the children in the neighborhood. So... The eagle of Gwarnapui, the old stag of Red and Fryn, the salmon of Glintil Ivran, the blackbird of Kilgari, the frog of Moknobog, and the owl of Kumkaulauid, are the oldest creatures in the whole world. End of section sixteen. Recording by Ginger Kukalow.